Hey guys, it's time to do a speed and camera comparison between the new Galaxy A7 2016 edition here versus the iPhone 6s. So obviously if we first talk about the price, in my country this uh, iPhone 6s, the base uh, 16 gigabyte model almost costs around $700, uh, which is, uh, you know, exactly it's around 67,000 PKR. Uh, it depends, you know, if you get the from their official outlet or you know, and this one costs around fifty uh, two thousand PKR, five twenty dollars. Uh, you get full warranty and all that. So I'm gonna make a separate uh, video review also. So this in this video I'm gonna be doing specific some specific speed and camera task also. So time for the boot up showdown. So obviously, if we talk about the specs here a little bit. Uh, you can see here iPhone 6s faster. Uh, the uh, the iPhone 6s has this uh, Apple A9 chipset, uh, while the uh, while the Galaxy A7 has a um, Exynos 7850 chipset, which is uh, octa core clocked at 1.6 gigahertz, and uh, also it has a Meli T720 GB. So time for a quick apps opening test here. Uh, I have closed everything in the background and also I have, uh, I'm also connected to the same Wi-Fi connection. So let's start off with some apps here, some similar apps. So we're gonna start off with Subway Surfer. Here we go. Let's see here, iPhone 6S. Wow, that is really nice. Extremely fast speed there. Wow, it's, oh my god, it's really fast. It's a nice thing with the iOS here. You know, very optimized environment. Let's see here, what else? Viber. Galaxy A7, very nice. WhatsApp. Um, that was, that was really close. Let's do it one more time. I think iPhone 6S was slightly faster. Uh, let's do it again. Okay. Here we go, and yeah, yes, it is slightly faster. Um, Twitter, I do have it on both phones. Here we go. Okay, I think both were kind of equal there. I mean, iPhone 6s loaded the animation there. Overall, they were equal. Um, let's see here. What else? What else? We got Twitch. Here we go. And. Here you can see that the A7 is slightly faster. I mean, that was really, really close. Uh, App Store versus Play Store. Okay, here we go. And you can see A7 definitely pulling ahead here. Very fast. And I don't know why iPhone 6s is taking some time there. Okay. Uh, that was really fast on the A7. Let's see here, Tumblr, faster on the A7, IMDB, again, seems like it's faster here, very fast on the A7. So I'm going to do it one more time again because, you know, we had that shitty message popped up on the iPhone 6S. So uh, Tumblr, here we go again, oops. Okay, that was really equal. Not that was the IMDb. Okay, IMDb. Here we go again. Again, that shitty message popped up. But here you can see that that was really close. Uh, but still, A7 pulled ahead slightly faster again. Uh, gallery versus the photos. iPhone 6s slightly faster. Uh, let's see here. What else we have? Calculator. Hmm. So you can see in major application, you're not going to notice any difference. Um, iPhone 6s, sometimes iPhone is slightly faster, sometimes this phone is slightly faster. Uh, we also do have the uh, Wine application here, which is again slightly faster on the iPhone. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Music player. Okay iPhone is kind of loading, I don't know, maybe. Let's go back and load something else. 
what else what else camera okay let's load up camera iPhone slightly faster what else so one last application is gonna be temple run again you can see iPhone success pulling ahead so uh, I mean definitely it's an expensive phone so of course it has better performance uh, but it's you know it's up to you to decide you know whether you can uh, um, you know spend that much money for slightly better performance or not you know I mean of course iOS is like a little bit more faster uh, with the apps as compared to Android I mean uh, because optimization plays an important role uh, but yeah uh, that was a quick look at the apps here okay so time for a quick little browser showdown here then we're gonna take a look here at the multitasking so um, I got Safari here on my iPhone 6s uh, versus the Google Chrome here so I was getting you know some comments from my subscribers uh, that you should test the Google Chrome you know uh, but you know most I think most people use Google Chrome but let's see here gold.com will going to be our first uh, website so I cleared up all the history and cache data whatever so let's see here go okay seems like uh, the the Galaxy A7 definitely faster here producing nice results okay uh, what else what else we can also test out s by opening up some some links here and you can see is it opening over here or not I think not yes it's not opening so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna click on a different link like this one there we go now it's loading and still you can see a7 pulling ahead iPhone success performing kinda slow here with the browser uh, or maybe because of this website I mean I mean this is a funny website when it comes to you know browsing next off is gsmmarina.com okay here we go typed in okay a little bit of spelling mistake there oops dropped my phone sorry Nexus 6B let's go and you can see here um, if I'm not wrong Galaxy A7 kinda win um, okay so you can see scrolling is very smooth look at how fast it is on the A7 so let's go ahead and launch any other website phonearena.com uh, let's see here phonearena.com so let's go okay again Samsung Galaxy A7 okay almost they finished off almost equally Apple is doomed what the hell okay let's open up this article and you can see here now iPhone 6s pulled ahead loaded the ads first here okay what else one last website is gonna be let's see here what else what else what else is gonna be the verge the verge.com okay this is also a tech website the worst.com one two three go come on let's see which one will be faster okay galaxy a7 again uh, very very awesome performance there um, but you can still see that both are loading the content but overall the a7 pulled ahead here a little bit so let's take a quick look at the multitasking now this one has three gigs of RAM this one has two gigs of RAM let's see which will be the winner here uh, let's load the first application which is the subway surfer and here you can see the iPhone 6s resume the app uh, or game and this one refreshed it again there's some kind of issue with the lollipop going on the RAM management and all that you know people are pissed off come on Samsung give it an update come on let's see here uh, we also opened up the uh, Viber that is opened up nicely let's see here WhatsApp Wow, again that was a refresh there iPhone 6s again 
doing good i mean it doesn't matter how much a gigabyte of ram that you have all it matters is the optimization so that's what iphone is showing now here uh twitter you can see again it's refreshing on the a7 and let's see here what else twitch again it is refreshing on the a7 it's a shame oh wow i'm pissed off you know app store okay that was good that was good you can see some apps are refreshed again uh, that was nice I think that wasn't refreshed there IMDB hmm I think it kind of refreshed there I don't know oh, let's see here photos versus gallery again I mean most applications are refreshed here um, on the a7 let's open up a game and conclude the test here uh, temple run here we go and again you can see that iPhone 6s pulled ahead this is just amazing you know I, I really love how Apple is you know optimizing the environment you know iOS uh, is definitely um, you know ahead uh, when it comes to the optimization of apps and all that ecosystem you know so uh, yes uh, this is a shame I mean this uh, multitasking is just so not good I mean the RAM management issue is there uh, most apps are refreshed so not that good uh, performance even with three gigs of RAM I mean even more than the iPhone here so and uh, don't get mad uh, we might see improvement I love this device but we might see improvement with the update but currently iPhone is the king and you have to admit that uh, good job Apple good job okay let's move towards the camera now the camera on the iPhone 6s is uh, 12 megapixel while the camera on the Galaxy A7 is uh, 13 megapixel uh, both have the LED flash on the back on the front we get 5 megapixel on both phones now in terms of the quality of course you are paying more for the iPhone so you get 4k video recording uh, but the A7 is only re restricted to just 1080p uh, but we also get optical image stabilization on the Galaxy A7 which is something that is absent on the iPhone 6s uh, but overall picture quality is just so amazing on both phones it's up to you who decide you're the judge here uh, it's just your personal preference you know uh, you can also you know control the exposure and all that we have a pro mode on the a7 where you can control white balance and all that stuff uh, so uh, but uh, the disappointment is a little bit there when it comes to HDR, you know, uh, if you are if you want to capture photos in HDR mode your uh, Camera resolution will drop to 8 megapixel on the on the a7 So uh, I suggest you should capture photo on auto mode because there's not like a big difference in terms of HDR and non HDR photos uh, So I, would, uh, I also recorded a a 1080p recording here on the a7 and a 4k recording uh, using my iPhone 6s Of course this video will be rendered in 4k. So let's just take a look at the videos and audio So thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys enjoyed my effort, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please stay tuned for daily tech videos. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.